Hi, this is Mike from Swimax, and today we're going to review uh, setting up calibrating your AC Tech controller. Uh, the first thing to determine is if in this particular Swimax the customer has selected the swimometer option. If they have, then you'll have to go through the calibration procedure as well as the initialization procedure. If the customer did not select the swimometer option, uh, then you only need to go through the calibration procedure. We will now go through the calibration procedure. You would go through this procedure no matter if you have the swimometer option or not. Uh, so when you walk over to your AC Tech controller, uh, assuming power, it's powered on, the first thing you'll see is a stop 5 hertz message. First thing we'll do is press the program run button. It will go ahead and prompt you for a password. You go ahead and hit the up arrow to change the password to 0001 and then hit enter. Next screen that comes up, it's the maximum frequency parameter and that's defaulted to 52 hertz. You'll go ahead and hit the enter key. The cursor will jump over to the right hand side and then we'll press and hold the up arrow to increase the max frequency to 60.00 hertz. If you overshoot 60, just use the down arrow to go ahead and bring it back down to 60. And then go ahead and press enter. The cursor will move back over to the left, letting you know that it took the change and max frequency parameter is now set to 60 hertz. And then go ahead and hit the up arrow. It'll let you know that the carrier frequency is defaulted to 750 slash 24x. Hit the up arrow again and that takes you to the swimometer uh, parameter. If you do indeed have a swimometer option with your SwimX, you'll go ahead and change this to enable. We're going to assume that in one second. If you didn't have the swimometer option, you would just um, uh, leave this uh, parameter set to the default, which is disable, and then press the program run button to return back to your stop screen. So we're going to go ahead and assume we do have a swimometer option. So we'll hit the enter key. Cursor goes over to the right. We'll hit the up arrow once. We'll now read swimometer enable. Hit enter, and the cursor will go back over to the right hand side, saying swimometer enable. And then we'll go ahead and hit the program run button, and we're back to our stop 5 hertz. And this completes the calibration procedure for your AC Tech. We will now go through the initialization procedure. Again, you would only need to go through this procedure if you have the swimometer option. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is actually do nothing um, for three minutes, and that will allow the previous password to time out on the AC Tech controller. So once you've waited the three minutes, we're going to start in a similar fashion, press the program run button, it'll prompt you for a password. This time we'll use the up arrow and go to 19 for our password. And then hit the enter key. The display will read line volts auto. You go ahead and hit the auto man button. And then we'll use the up arrow to go to parameter number 30. Again, if you pass parameter number 30, just use the down arrow to come back down to number 30. Okay, it says control. We'll go ahead and hit the enter key. Currently, it's showing control is set to the remote setting. We'll go ahead and hit the enter key. The cursor will go over to the right hand side. We'll hit the up arrow once and twice to change that to control local and then hit the enter key. The cursor will go back to the left and we're now reading control local. We'll then go ahead and hit the auto man button again and use the up arrow to go to parameter number 57. Parameter number 57, read serial, hit the enter key. It's letting us know that serial is currently set to disable. We'll hit the enter key one more time. The cursor will go over to the right side. We'll hit the up arrow twice and we'll read serial W slash O timer without timer. Hit the enter key, the cursor goes back to the left, and then you go ahead and hit the program run. You're now back at your stop screen, but the one difference is between the P and the word stop and the five, you'll see a little right then arrow. Now in order to complete the procedure, one more thing has to be done, and that's the power cable from your swimometer that plugs in on the left side of the AC tech. You're gonna want to disconnect this cable wait about 10 to 15 seconds and then reconnect it. And what that does, it'll go ahead and reestablish communications and reset the swimometer. And this connector is keyed so you have to rotate it to satisfy the keying requirement and then you can plug it back in. And now that completes the initialization procedure. From this point forward, you shouldn't have to touch any buttons on the AC Tech controller. All pool controls will be done up top via the swimometer or the air buttons.
In this video, we're going to show you how to do a factory reset on the AC10 controller. If for some odd reason um, the parameters have been changed, something uh, foul has gone on, and you need to get the AC10 controller back to its uh, default settings, this procedure will walk you through doing that. So you'll walk over to your AC10 controller, it'll say stop 5 hertz. You go ahead and press the program run button, it'll prompt you for a password. Use the up arrow to go to parameter number 19. And then hit the enter key. The display will read line volts auto. Use the auto man button. And now you're in the speed dial function. And now we want to use the up arrow to go to parameter number 65. Parameter number 65 is the program parameter. You'll then go ahead and hit enter. The display will read program maintain. We'll hit the enter key one more time and the cursor will go over to the right hand side. Press the up arrow once and the display will read program reset 60. Go ahead and hit the enter key. The cursor comes back to the P and then go ahead and hit the program run button. And it'll take you back to your stop screen. And that procedure will go ahead and reset the AC Tech controller back to its default settings uh, as it came out of the box.